Hi guys, so I wanted to take some time to kind of welcome you back to class and kind of talk about schedule and how things work in my class, if, especially if you are uh, new to my class this semester. So this first, uh, first couple weeks here are going to be a little different. Uh, we're on the hybrid schedule now, and here's a picture of that for you. So if uh, you want to get a copy of that or print one off, you've got it here. Um, today happens to be Wednesday, which everybody is doing e-learning on this day. So uh, hopefully you're coming in and taking a look at my course and doing some work for me today because if you're a B-Day student, which all of my biology classes are this year, uh, you should be in class right now. Uh, at home, in class. So uh, then what's going to happen is on Friday, uh, I will have... Still have the bells, right? <laughs> Um, uh, students whose last names are L through Z will be in person. Um, everybody else will be at home e-learning. So the important takeaway here is that whether you're e-learning or you're in person, you're still responsible to get on and do your work for that day. Now this is not difficult guys, check this out. You only have my class two times a week. Okay, so no matter what happens, it's going to be twice a week. So today Wednesday everybody should be at home and then Friday I will have L through Z in person okay A through K will be at home doing e-learning so in my course and, and I'll continue to do this for those of you guys that were working from home last semester you'll remember this I, I do this asynchronously so I, I post my assignments for you guys and I don't uh, most of the time I don't expect you to come and zoom into a call or something like that um, I did do a Google Meet this morning for folks who wanted to uh, hear the in-person lecture while I was doing it, but I also recorded it so you can watch it um, on your own time. Uh, just don't get so relaxed about this that you forget to do your work, right? So that's an important thing. Uh, but whatever you're doing, just get on and check what's due for the day and what you need to be working on. Um, I will leave all assignments open for you right up into the end of the unit, and then I have to close stuff because I have to put grades in. So. Uh, keep that in mind. I'll show you again here in a second. Next week. Next week is going to look more like the regular hybrid schedule that we're going to have. So Monday will be an A day. Uh, you will see your A day classes in person if you are an A through K last name. If you're L through Z, you're still expected to do your A day classwork, uh, but you're doing it from home. So the point of this schedule is to uh, get less people in the building physically so we can socially distance a little bit more. So you're going to notice as well that when you're in class I'm going to have some new seating charts. We're going to spread folks out around a little bit more um, to try and keep each other away from each other. Um, uh, along with that I also want to mention and you guys did a great job for me last uh, semester please keep your masks on. It's super important that you've got your mask on uh, that you keep that thing on uh, I know that if you want to have a drink in class, that's okay. Uh, just, you know, pull your mask up for a second, take a sip, pull it right back down. Don't take your mask off and try to eat a bunch of food and stuff like that. I don't want that in my room anyway. You guys know this stuff, right? Um, I'm a pretty laid back guy, but my gosh, we've got to keep everybody safe. Please keep those stinking masks on until we can get vaccinated. Um, anyway, so uh, next week, B, your B day will fall on a Tuesday, so I will be seeing A through K last names on B day. Uh, if you're at home on e-learning, you're L through Z, that means you need to get on there and do your work. Um, and like I said, it will be up all day for you, so if you don't wake up at the crack of dawn, which I'm guessing you're probably not going to since you have the ability to not do that from home, uh, it will be there for you. Then on the 13th, on Wednesday, we're all going to be e-learning. E Nobody's coming to school on that Wednesday um, unless you have some certain C4 thing. Like that's that's all totally different. I don't know what C4 is doing it. It's different than, than this. So figure, figure that out with your C4 teachers. Uh, but you won't be seeing me on this day. However, I will be in the building. So if you happen to be here for C4 and need to talk to me, uh, you can come talk to me. Usually I'll be in my room or down in lab. Um, but I might be recording something, so that could be going on as well. Anyway, if you need to talk to me, if you need to, to uh, meet with me, we can set up a Zoom or a Google Meet. 
or you can just chat with me. That's probably the easiest and quickest way to get in touch with me is just uh, just start chatting with me, okay, on It's Learning. Uh, then uh, the 14th Thursday will be an A day, so I won't see you, and then the 15th will be another B day, so uh, you'll be in person if you're L through Z. Okay, A through Ks will be doing the same stuff just at home. Okay, so make sure you're getting online, make sure you're checking guys. Please, please, please do your work. Number one reason for students not to pass last semester was because they just didn't do any work. Um, it's really that simple. Get on, turn your stuff in. Uh, you're gonna be okay. Talk to me if you're having trouble. Okay, uh, the weeks following that, well, we have another another uh, no school day. We have Martin Luther King Day on the 18th, so it's going to look kind of like the first week of school here. So, I love those bells. So, uh, we'll have an A day on the 19th, and we'll have a B day uh, on the 20th, but everybody will still be e-learning that day, so you won't be coming in for your B, B day classes. Um, so, you'll see me that day online. Uh, and then we'll see you again on Friday again. So that will look like this first week here. Okay, and then after that, it's going to just look like the standard schedule for as long as this lasts. Uh, nobody has any idea how long we'll do hybrid for, uh, but we're just going to keep going this route uh, until uh, we see. So let's close that out. Whew. And let's talk about your course here. If you're new to my course, some of this stuff will be important to you. If you've been to my course before, uh, a lot of this stuff is just going to be old hat. You've seen it before. What I do is every day that we have class, I will post on the overview page. It will be dated right here. There will be a little blurb about what's going on to try and help you out. Uh, there will be some little, usually I try to number things for you so you're like, oh, I read all this, but what do I do? Well, number one, watch the lecture. Okay, and so usually I'll link stuff down here. This is still uploading, so it may not be up yet. Uh, number two, do the reading number one, Inheritance. Well, there it is right there linked for you. Number three, do Corn Genetics. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so you'll go through and you'll do those things, and sometimes I'll, little messages here like that I just got this, this, this ended, this, this uh, just got put up. Uh, so that'll be there for you. So if you're missing work, if you're like, I missed a couple of days, these are all dated. You could go to the overview page and just scroll down. That's the only thing I've posted so far, but they'll all show up down here. You could look at every single one of those things. Okay, That's one way to find your missing work. By far and large, the easiest way to find your missing work, let me switch myself to a student view here so you can looks the same for you, uh, is going to be, well, there's one other way first before I show you the easy way. You could go to the resources tab. There's resources check it out I've organized stuff by unit so if you open the unit up you will see both of those things in there it's so easily organized you could click over here oh look there they are so file tree are right here there are those things okay let's take a look at what you should be doing probably periodically throughout the course maybe at least once a week I would click on this follow-up and reports if you don't see that it's underneath more Okay. If you click follow up and reports, you will see this magical item right here called a grade book. Here's the situation. Because we're doing all this online stuff, it is very difficult for me to grade everything on the fly on the moment. I have to literally have three grade books to pull this off. I have an It's Learning grade book, I have a spreadsheet that I keep everything in, and then I have the Master Power School grade book, which is where you see your grades updated when you get the text messages and your parents suddenly freak out because you haven't done anything. So. What happens in my course is for each unit, everything is kept in the It's Learning gradebook. And right now there's only two items in there because I've only got two things done. And if you check here, especially on a computer, you can't do this on the phone, you won't be able to click these. But if it says not taken, anywhere over here says not taken, that means you either didn't do it or maybe you did it and never clicked the submit button. So just check this thing like once a week tell yourself every Friday I'm just gonna check this thing or maybe every day we have class I'm just gonna check it because check this out I haven't done either of those yet so that means I need to click on one of those and actually get something done in class because right now I'm failing so easy way right um, and then those will show up if they don't show up it's probably because you need to click up here to term and actually select semester two so if they don't show up just click there it should pop right up for you okay oops okay so um, 
anyway, let's take a look at some of these just to help you out a little bit. If I click on this reading inheritance here, which is the first thing I asked you to do, um, it's always important to check in here to see if there's some information because I oftentimes will put a link. So if there's like a quiz over a lecture, the link might be to the lecture or the link might be to the quiz and then there'll be another link inside of here that's like here's the lecture watch this okay and then I would just open that up in another tab um, and then watch that while I go right through and do the quiz super easy stuff so let me check this out I'm just gonna click continue because I already started it um, all of the questions this time happen to be on one page so just go through carefully and you can see like oh I'm gonna choose one of these things I don't know if this is right I don't even know what the question is I'm just clicking stuff don't pick what I picked um, or maybe you need to uh, just go right through here. The questions are pretty self-explanatory, right? When you get to the end, ooh, way down there, you're going to click complete test. Okay, and you, of course you can pause it. You can come back to it. It should save your work for you. Just don't forget to do that. But please keep checking that gradebook thing, okay? Keep, keep checking that gradebook. Corn genetics, pretty similar. Okay, I know some of these pictures are a little hard to read, but really you just need the, the text here pictures were just extra and this one goes and you have to answer the questions and click next as you go right so each question is about each one so it should make it pretty easy for you if you guys have questions though remember you can just chat with me um, that's really the easiest way to go about doing that stuff so leave the page back to my overview there um, let's see other stuff uh, we'll mention this again when you guys get back uh, we, we will likely be doing some labs. The way labs will work is uh, if the lab happens to be on the day that you're in school, you get to do it in person. Uh, if not, there's going to be a video of the lab uh, so that you can do it at home. And usually I do some little questions like that online so you can watch the video and answer the questions. I'll try and mix that up a little bit so depending on where your last name falls, you might get a lab one day, but you may not get another one the next time. Um, but it's just too hard to leave a lab set up for that length of time so that everybody could do it. Otherwise, we'd be uh, really, really behind. Um, so in my room, you guys know, please don't bring a bunch of food and, and sugary drinks and stuff that could spill over the carpet and keep your masks up, right? Uh, we will have some seating charts when we get back, some probably some new ones, just because I've got to spread you guys out and we have to keep track of contact tracing for COVID cases. Um, Let's, uh, let's mention hygiene again. Uh, super important that you guys keep those masks on. I know that sometimes like you need to cough or you need to sneeze. Uh, do not pull your mask down to do that. I know it's almost a habit, but you know, uh, it, it, it's kind of gross and nasty, but if you sneeze in your mask and you need to go clean yourself up, I have other masks. I can give you a new mask. I know that's really gross, but we really don't want your sneeze germs. Like that is the absolute worst thing you could possibly do in the room is to pull your mask off and sneeze all over the place because you just spread droplets everywhere, right? So please keep those masks pulled up, uh, even if you've got a cough or sneeze. Um, other things, every day bring your computer to school. You're going to need it because everything's online now. Uh, I would bring a pair of earbuds with you if you happen to have them or some headphones, something like that, because sometimes you might be watching a video or something like that or want to work on other work in my class if you happen to be in school that day. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just uh, remember, please remember, I, I put in one big grade for each unit, and you need to be checking that, uh, that grade book in here. Okay, be checking that grade book. Only one big grade is going to go in, and it will go into your power school and then you'll suddenly see a grade jump and then after that everything's turned off so you can't go back and like redo everything if I don't shut assignments off at some point uh, I can't I can never get my grades in so please do me a favor and, and just keep up with your work I'm leaving it all open for you for vast amounts of time so uh, everything will be open until after the test and after I finish the test I close everything so that's that works out roughly to about like two to three weeks for each unit so what will happen is there will be big jumps in the actual grade book every two to three weeks for you. So be checking this one. If you need to tell your parents or guardians like where this is at, show them where the grade book is on here so they can see. Eventually, this stuff is all going back into the grade book, okay, on, on PowerSchool. All right, guys, I look forward to seeing you when some of you get back to school. Um, if you're working from home, keep up the good work and chat with me when you need to.
Have a good one.